Hi everybody! So one of the questions I get asked an awful lot is about my gold watercolor paint. As many of you guys know, this is something that I actually make from home, and I decided today that I wanted to make a how-to video to show you guys how to do it yourselves. So it doesn't require too many materials. As you can see right here, this is pretty much everything that I'm going to need. So let's go over what you, hear, you guys are seeing right here really quick. First up, we have our powder pigment. This is the brand that I, I use. Um, it's called Pearl X Pigment Powder, and I think that's actually the brand name right there. The color I'll be using today is called Aztec Gold. The, this particular brand has a bunch of different colors that you can choose from. There's like a pink gold, there's this blue right here, um, and there's also this really nice bronze that I really love. Uh, these are really easy to find at your local art supply store, and you can also get them on Amazon. This one in particular I just got in from Amazon the other day. Next, you're going to need the binding agent, which is going to be for a watercolor gum Arabic. And you can get, again, this at any art supply store, or if you can't find it there, then just check Amazon. Um, it might actually be cheaper just to get it on Amazon. Over here, um, I have this little dropper. And this is what I uh, typically put the gum arabic in. It makes it a little bit easier for um, when I start going to mix the pigment and the gum arabic, just being able to measure it out. Um, but it's not necessary. Uh, next, what you're going to need is a container to put your paint in. So I have these. Um, I think these are like eyeshadow palettes. And I was able to get these in bulk on Amazon um, like a year ago or so. They, they should be pretty easy to find. And they're just... Uh, tiny little makeup containers and they're perfect for for this purpose Then you're going to need a tool for mixing I like my little palette knife here and then a flat surface now I have this little cutting board It makes it super super easy to clean once I'm done and again because this is a watercolor It's going to come right off. It's water soluble um, and it makes it really easy to clean um, You can also use wax paper or a dish, but again, this is just my preferred method so I'm going to speed up this portion of the process because this is roughly about five minutes worth of my time. The most important thing that you want to keep in mind during this is that you're mixing it thoroughly, pulling from the outside towards the inside and then squishing it back down and just doing circular motions until you start seeing a smoother paint. You'll also want to occasionally pull the paint off of the end of your palette knife and put it back into the mix. So once you're done thoroughly mixing your paint, um, it should have a consistency a little bit like Play-Doh or putty or something, um, where if you take the end of your tool here and you put it to the top and you start pulling, the paint is sticking to the end of that knife, but when I pull away far enough, it comes and starts settling back in. So um, that's the consistency that I'm looking for and I'm ready to start putting it within my container. So as mentioned at the beginning of the video, these are really great little containers for your paint. Very small, um, easy to just throw inside of a travel bag if you're gonna go do plein air painting or something like that. Uh, so those are fantastic. Um, you can also use one of those little brick palettes uh, like Winsor & Newton cells. For me in particular, I really like using mint tins. So I keep a collection um, of mint tins that I plan on using for future paint projects. Like here's a blood orange one, very beautiful tin. Um, so I don't think I'm going to be using that one today. I also have this really cool ginger mint tin, which is from Trader Joe's, and that's also really awesome. But for me today, I found this really cool mint tin at a farmer's market, and it has artwork on it, um, from James Jean. Yeah, who is a badass, obviously. Um, so yeah, this is really, really cool. I go by Tea Tiger. It makes sense that I would have a tiger on my gold paint tin. So now it's time to actually put the paint inside. You're just going to scoop it and put it within. So something I'm going to do to kind of help it out is try to spread it. Um, it is going to take about 72 hours for this to completely harden and settle. Uh, I'm going to make a little bit more because I want to make sure that I get every single corner here um, filled and it looks like I didn't quite make enough. But once I'm done putting the paint inside of this little tin, um, 
I'm going to leave it out somewhere where it has uh, access to air. I'm gonna leave it uncovered for 72 hours. If for some reason you put it covered uh, or start putting it or throwing it into a bag before it is completely hardened, you're going to end up with all of the paint puddling to one side uh, possibly even leaking out and creating a big mess. So that's really important. You want to wait at least 72 hours, let it settle, let it harden, and then uh, it should be safe after that. So I'm going to finish this up and then I'll do one more progress shot at the very, very end so you guys can see what my new palette looks like. And there you go. All right, you guys, I hope you find that helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, of course, please reach out to me. Um, I can try to give you the best advice. I've only been making um, paint for myself for about two years now. And again, this is just how I do it. So some people will use more, uh, more gum Arabic. Some people will use a different brand of pigment paint. This is the one that I just find that works well for me. And this is how uh, I make the paint that you see in a lot of my videos. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please leave a like and a comment. And I really appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you so much.